access to water, exploitation of the sea, pollution, climate change, erosion of coastal areas and impoverishment of cultivated land. The challenge of the environmental protection is a priority for all the countries on the Mediterranean Sea, a fragile ecosystem, even more at risk towards its southern and eastern boundaries. Here, the shortage of primary resources is at its strongest. Water is a real problem in most of the countries of the region, perhaps with the exception of Egypt, but in all other countries you don't have uh, sustainable rainfall, you don't have enough water for irrigation, for human use, and even less so for industry. So uh, wastewater treatment, uh, irrigation, uh, drinking water is, is a major uh, issue, but of course there are also other environmental issues, such as, for example, erosion, such as the deterioration of uh, agrarian lands, for example. So this is something which is very important, because if the environment has a negative impact on the society, this destabilizes the entire society, it destabilizes possibilities for economic growth. Through its neighborhood policy and thanks to the Union for the Mediterranean, in recent years the European Union has enhanced cooperation in the environmental field between the different territories in the region. If you look at the, at the sea, the Mediterranean Sea, which is the shared sea, if there is too much pollution in the sea, if the sea basically becomes a problem, if you can no longer use the resources of the sea because of overfishing, this is a problem for our southern partners, for us as well. So we have a common interest on a south-south basis, but also on a north-south basis, to look into these issues together and to, to mobilize all sources, including financial, in order to tackle the problems. The Mediterranean is a sea which is shared, but also a sea to be protected. A commitment sought after directly by the WWF in 12 different countries in the area. The priorities change from country to country. In general, we look at NPAs that are established to protect uh, coastal marine uh, resources, biodiversity. That includes uh, specific um, areas of biodiversity importance, like wetlands in Albania or Tunisia, for example. Two species, like groupers in Turkey or sharks in nursery areas in Turkey as well or specific coastal landscapes like in Libya, which has very pristine coastal areas, or um, places like in Algeria where the land and the sea meet, uh, forming sp also specific landscapes. The activities pursued by the EU and its partners have to come to terms with delicate political situations and with the necessary involvement of the local populations and local administrators in the common goal of environmental protection an objective which is not always considered to be a priority. Our biggest successes are definitely to be able to, even in these countries and even in challenging uh, conditions, be able to see uh, communities and stakeholders that turn around, that change their mind, that understand the need to protect what we have, that understand that we're going towards a marine environment that is more and more uh, suffering, the human pressure, and they start feeling that that's something that they own and that it's something for them important to protect. Concentrating on people has been the basis of the development of efficient environmental protection policies. You need to, to invest in people and therefore this is one of the ideas which I think can be implemented very very well in the form of a uh, regional program because it doesn't make sense to have a, a series of individual programs in Morocco, in Egypt, in, in, in Lebanon and so forth. You bring them together in a regional program with one of the major experts in this area which is WWTF and there we go. Training and regional cooperation the key aspects which will make environmental protection a true priority in the whole of the Mediterranean.